Okay, so thanks, Rafiwa, for getting on this call with us. So for anyone who doesn't know, we are the Gradient Boost, and we are starting an online data science introductory course for anyone who wants to start a career path on to data science. So this course is a bit more rigorous than a lot of the options that you might be seeing out there. So we provide things such as a dedicated mentor who you'll have access to two times a week to ask any questions as you go along with the course. So the course is designed to be three to four months and it's self-paced, meaning that you take the time that you need, whether you wanna do it full-time or part-time. But we provide you with the tools such as the mentors. We give you things such as a Code Academy Pro license. We give you access to weekly quizzes and we provide you with, uh, you can do things such as having group projects, individual projects, and we'll help you to showcase those projects to get you able to be networking to really set you off on the right foot. So we're having our first course run on May 18th. Um, and we just wanted to start this off by actually, for those of you who don't, aren't so sure about is data science right for me, we wanted to be able to show you an actual data scientist within the African continent who's doing well and just to serve as some inspiration for you. So we have Rafiwa here. Uh, so thank you Rafiwa for getting on this call with us. Um, just to start, do you wanna just introduce yourself? Just who are you and you know, what are you about? Yes. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, so my name is uh, Rafi Wanem Tiwadi. I'm currently based in South Africa. I'm a data scientist at a, market research, a global market research company, which is um, ABC Nielsen. Great. So how did you get into data scientists? How did you even find out about this? How did I even find out about this? To be quite honest with you, um, I didn't really know about data science up until um, I finished uh, my, uh, my degree at Rhodes University when I just specialized in my in mathematical statistics and information systems. And it was a time of which I was looking for an employment after my degree and um, heard about a friend of mine told me about AC Nielsen, which is like a market research company, and that they were actually looking for a data scientist. I didn't really know anything about it. And I started investigating about it and I, I found out that it's, it's something which is pretty much cool and it's aligned with, um, with what I've actually studied. But it's a little bit more advanced in terms of uh, the programming tools that we that we tend to use on a day-to-day -day basis but i would say pretty much 40 percent of what i do on my day-to-day -day, i'd learn it at school but then the rest of it i learned it at, at, at the job okay and so you have a degree um do you think that data science is something that you need a degree for or can you be taught a lot of these skills or what and what part of those skills are learned on the job so i think it's a yes or a no I mean, um, can data science be made um, as, as a degree to a certain extent, right? I mean, we are moving to towards the fourth industrial revolution, a revolution, and most countries are already within the fourth industrial revolution, wherein the biggest uh, focus is um, the big data as well as um, as well as artificial intelligence, or you rather call it machine learning. And um, when you are within the field of data science, that's wherein you are on the forefront um, of the fourth industrial revolution. So I think. It's about time when different universities need to start uh, introducing data science as a degree that you would actually start studying. But I know that um, universities, big universities within South Africa, like UCT and Vets University, are actually starting to offer um, our data science, which to, and this actually gives us an indication that it is starting to to be uh, something that people um, are noticing. But you don't necessarily need to go to school to learn data science to be a data scientist, right? They are. Um, uh, different online courses, i.e. like the one that we're actually offering at the moment that it actually gives you a clear, a, a good platform for you to learn uh, more about, about data science. Or either you could um, rather look at other, um, other, other um, online tools that you could actually use to learn, to learn data science. So for me, I, I look at data science as more of a tool than a profession, right? Because a data scientist could work on each and every um, corporation or industry. You could find a data scientist with, within banking, data scientist within micro research, which is what I do, data scientist within, um, within any other type of, um, of, 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 um, of work that, you could, that you, could, you could think of. But then you need to be able to use the tools that you, that you have actually learned and acquired, i.e. your programming tools, your data analytics tools, your problem solving tools, your statistics tools, which is actually the, the biggest tool within, within data science to actually apply data science within, um, within different, um, within different um, corporate sites. Okay, I really like what you said there. It's like a tool rather than a profession. Yes. So um, do you mind walking me through what's a typical day for, is there even a typical day for you? <laughs> I, 
I think I think I'd be lying to you if I were to tell you that I've done one thing three times mm. ever since I've, I've I've started working. I mean, when I get into the office, it's it's everything new from 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 client queries or client requests. A client might come through asking, um, why is it that probably maybe my share is actually declining? Um, why is it that this product is not necessarily selling well? And it's, it's, it's within me that I have to try and investigate as much as I can to give um, uh, the clients proper insights that they, that, that they need. Or maybe someone else could actually come and ask about the product from a methodological point of view, trying to understand the statistical concepts that we have actually applied within, um, within a various product. Um, or, or probably be thinking of, of an innovative way to automate uh, a specific process. Maybe a certain department has been busy with BAU for quite some time and we that we can also actually automate that they are working on. So, but in the nature of the way we tend to, um, to have to analyze, it, 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 it's somewhat, um, somewhat different in any way. Okay. So, so uh, in light with, you know, this global pandemic that we're all facing, we're all at home and unfortunately a lot of people are losing their jobs. Um, what, is, what do you think the data science landscape is going to be looking like in the next few years, specifically within Africa? I mean, things are no longer going to be the same, definitely. We are, we are moving into the, into the new norm in any way possible. Uh, the new norm way in everybody is going to be working um, virtually. I.e., for an example, I haven't met you before and we have met online due to like online platform and we don't really need to meet somewhere to actually have to conduct this type of an interview. And that's something that the COVID-19, it's at least the good side of it, if I could, if I could put it that way, that um, we have actually changed the norm in terms of how we actually work. And and I think more and more data science jobs would be created if we are to work um, remotely in any way possible. I mean, for, for in, my, in my site, since I'm working on, on the market research, this is a, a good time for us to actually support clients to help them understand the data that they're actually receiving and trying to understand the new norm in terms of um, the, the customer behavior in this pandemic time. I, it, could, it could range from panic buying, we need to start reflecting that um, to how uh, people are starting to are starting to work now. That's a good point. So uh, transitioning to a, a lighter topic, I guess. Uh, so you know, you signing up to be a mentor with the Gradient Boost. What are you most excited about mentoring people just starting their data science journey? I am for empowering people. To be, to be quite honest with you, I've, um, there's nothing that I think I the next best thing that I enjoy doing it's it's tutoring. Um, I've been tutoring since high school, I've been tutoring in university. And um, when I stepped into the corporate environment, I, uh, my biggest, one of my biggest worries was I'm not going to be able to do one of the second best things that I actually tend to enjoy, which is actually tutoring people. And when Emmanuel reached out to me on LinkedIn and, tell us, and telling me about this whole project, I was, like, I was super excited about it, that someone actually had uh, thought about um, about offering this to the people within within Africa, so that we could actually increase our our tech capacity and and have a lot of people know about about data science. Unlike me, who got to really know that there's something which is called data science only after only after university. So offering these courses, I think I'm I'm really really excited about it, and also raising awareness in terms in terms of data science that Africa needs to needs to move towards um you know, towards technology, and this is um. The, the steps was the right direction. I can feel the passion. Great. Yes, I'm <laughs> so you know, what's, if there's one piece of advice that you would give to you, the, the learners that you'll be mentoring, what would it be? Be curious. Be curious, George, in any way possible. That's, that's, honestly, that's the best way to learn. Um, if you ask a lot of questions um, and if you become curious about trying to understand how did you get to an answer, that's the best way to, to learn. And also practicing, um, because data science it's not it's not theory in any way possible. You need to develop an analytical mindset. And while we're tutoring you, we're gonna be giving you um, a lot of real life data examples that it's gonna be really really cool to actually work with. 
Um, so if you are curious and asking a lot of questions and become really enthusiastic to, to learn as much as you can, you'll be more likely to, um, to exceed within, within the life, within the world of data science, because data science, it's, it's very, very broad. It's very, it's a very, very broad field. It's a field that if you love numbers and if you love programming, you'll never get bored and you'll never get, but you'll find yourself working even late hours and you probably maybe have to set up an, an alarm to say that, you know what, I need to stop working now because it's very interesting when you're digging into the numbers and trying to understand different, um, different aspects that you're actually getting within, within PDPS. So that's, yeah. All right, great, thanks. And my last question, Mr. Rafiwa, uh, give me one fun fact about you. Fun fact about me, huh, that's a, that's a tricky one. I thought you were gonna be like asking about data science thing. Um, no, you're more than actually, that. <laughs> <laughs> actually, the fun fact about me is that I'm a nerd, uh, but a lot of people don't really see that. I'm, I'm, I'm just one guy who is, who is a nerd. Just because I don't wear glasses, people don't really think that I'm actually a nerd. So I think that's just, just a fun fact about me. I kind of got that when you said that you spent, you need an alarm to tell you when to stop programming. <laughs> But <laughs> let, me not, let me not put labels on you. Okay, thank you so much, Rafiwa. Yeah. All right, so we're looking forward to having you as a, one of our great mentors on the Gradient Boost. Um, mm -hmm. And hope to talk to you soon. Oh, thanks. Cheers. All right, bye.